Okay, Dwight, let's look at these rivers for um, Georgia, all of our Georgia rivers. This is the state of Georgia. All of this, the white part. Come over here. All of this is the state of Georgia, right? So Georgia has a, a square edge there, a straight edge. They had a straight edge, and then it has a squiggle edge. And that squiggle edge and the squiggle edge on this side is actually formed by rivers, okay? So first, the Lord, get your paper so you can follow along with your map. You have this large river here. This is Lake Lanier. Lake Lanier starts up in the north part of Georgia in, um, I believe this is Forsyth County near Cumming. And this was actually another town called Oscarville, Georgia, that was a black township that was created uh, when black people had a need to have a separate place to live. But in the 1950s, the state of Georgia decided that they needed the land. So they took the land that was Oscarville, Georgia, and they dammed it up. That means they built things around it to create Lake Lanier. And Lake Lanier has a um, river that's coming in, into it and creating a much larger river. So this large river is the Chattahoochee River. Chattahoochee is a, a Native American name. Chattahoochee. And why is it a Native American name? Because Native Americans lived in Georgia long before anyone else did. They had um, nations that used these rivers to travel, right? So here we have the Lake Lanier and the Chattahoochee River. The Chattahoochee River goes all the way across Georgia. See, it, it kind of goes at the top, the north part of Atlanta, Georgia. And it goes down through Mableton, Georgia, Douglas County, Carroll County, and we're still, that's Fulton County there, so South Fulton. And it goes on down, we're still following the Chattahoochee River, and it goes to West Point, West Point near LaGrange, Georgia. West Point shares this West Point Lake with Georgia and Alabama. And this is close to where your grandmother, your great-grandmother, your great-great-grandmother, and your great-great-great-grandmother was born in Lee County, Alabama, near this boundary right here. So it's quite possible they might have gone to the Chattahoochee River to fish. Okay, so here the Chattahoochee River is going down through the West Point, and West Point Dam is big. Oh, here it is, baby. Lynette, that's my mother's hometown, Lynette, Alabama. Okay, so now we go on down south, keep going. This is Alabama now. So right between Alabama and Georgia is the Chattahoochee River, and it goes down through all these cities in Georgia, but also it's feeding cities in Alabama. And many times cities were built on the river because people need water, right? So what better place to build a city than right beside the water? So we have gone down to Stewart County, Quitman County, this is in Georgia, and then we have a large thing here that says the West Georgia Reserve, reservoir, I'm sorry, a reservoir. A reservoir is a place where things are held. So this water is, is in a big, big lake to, to hold it for these people, yes. Is that still here? Is all that still here? Yes, the river is still there, still flowing, and every day people are getting water. In fact, when you, uh, in Fulton County, my water doesn't come from this river but your water in Fulton County may come from this river. So the Chattahoochee River is the river that the city of Atlanta gets its water from. So when you turn on the faucet, 
it comes from the Chattahoochee River, but it goes through a lot of things before you get it. It goes through a plant, and they put chemicals in it, and they wash it, and they clean it, and they filter it before it goes to the houses for people to have water. Okay, so down here, the Chattahoochee River goes all the way down the boundary of Georgia and Alabama, and it goes into the state of Florida. And here, this is Seminole County, Georgia, right before the boundary of Georgia and Florida. And there's a big lake here called Seminole Lake. So Seminole is the name of a particular type of Native American, okay? The Seminoles. And up here would have been Cherokee, and over here would have been Choctaw, okay? So now, if we go over here, there's another river that divides South Carolina and Georgia, and it is the Savannah River. It starts up here at Hartwell Lake. So you see this big blue thing? That's a lake. It's Hartwell Lake. And the Savannah River goes down, 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 down through there. So many, many of the names of the rivers, the lakes, and places in Georgia are Native American names because that's who used the rivers first. Uh, Native Americans used these rivers and creeks and uh, all these waterways as like their streets. So they had canoes. And instead of um, running or riding horses or any of that to trade and to visit people uh, or to just travel, they would use canoes and water, waterways. So all over here, and I think you had asked me before, does the river go, what was your question? Does the river go to connect to the ocean? It does. It it connects to the ocean right here in Savannah and maybe some other places. All of these are islands, islands, and, and all of these are little breaks in, in the, the water, in, in the land. And so you have uh, places where river water, which is fresh water, meets ocean water. And that happens in Savannah. And one place in particular where you can go and visit is on Tybee Island. Tybee Island has fresh water on one side, basically on one side of the street, and on the other side of the street, you can go to the ocean. So it's really a special place, and um, the, the water is very important for that region. So now, if you can see that there are other blue things, you see these little blue lines? These are other rivers. So you have the Oconee River, the Okmulgee River and the Ogeechee River. All of those are Native American names. Okmulgee, Ogeechee, Ogeechee, Ogeechee. It's hard to say that. Ogeechee, Ogeechee River, and the Muscogee. And Muscogee is the name of the Native Americans that lived over here. Uh, that the, native, that the uh, Europeans encountered that were living in all these waterway type areas, they were uh, Muscogee, but when the, the Englishmen met them, they called them Creeks. So they became known, that was sort of their nickname, was the Creek Indians, but they weren't really Creeks, they were Muscogee. So down here you have the Seminole, up here you have the, the, the Cherokee, and we'll talk about Native Americans in detail later on, but I did want you to know that they use these rivers as their way to trade. And um, so we're going to spend some more time looking at the smaller rivers, but the Savannah River and the Chattahoochee River are the ones I want you to remember most because they divide the, create the boundary for Georgia and South Carolina, and Georgia and Alabama, okay? So we're going to look at this some more, but today we're going to finish your map. You're going to finish your map, and we're going to label 
uh, the waterways and see if you can, at, once you do it on your map, you're going to come to this map and try to find those same waterways, okay? All right.